Fasting has been associated with a lot of different health benefits. But out of all these different techniques with fasting, whether it's dry fasting, water fasting, prolonged fasting, intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting has been the most popular as well as the most researched when it comes to this type of technique. And particularly when it comes to the cardiovascular system and when it comes to intermittent fasting benefits or just fasting benefits in general, cardiovascular system is one of the types of systems that benefit greatly with fasting. So the cardiovascular system consists both of the heart and both our circulatory system. And what intermittent fasting can do for our cardiovascular system not only can help with things such as blood pressure, other cardiovascular issues on the heart, but also can be looked at preventative measures. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video coming right up, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up fasters? Dr. Legrand here, here for another fasting video. If you're new here, like always, just subscribe already. Why haven't you already subscribed? Just do it. If you are or want to be a fasting expert, just hit that subscribe button. So let's go ahead and not waste any more time. Let's just dive right into the information that we're going to talk about today. And that is on fasting and how fasting can help with the cardiovascular system and trying to reverse having to even start using blood pressure medications or any other kind of cardiovascular medications that you typically use when it comes to those type of issues. A lot of you have probably already benefited from fasting with helping with hypertension or other cardiovascular issues such as you know irregular heartbeat or even endothelial disruption in the heart or even just a variability with your heart rate. But along with fasting, can also help with prevention of any kind of cardiovascular issues further down the road. So I want to talk about a few different research articles that I've come across that shed more light of why you should use fasting to help benefit your cardiovascular system. Now, when it comes to cardiovascular problems, it isn't always linked to necessarily having high blood pressure or having a heart irregularity. It also can be contributed to other conditions such as like obesity and diabetes. Now with obesity growing every year, especially here in the US, we do have to look at obesity being a contributing factor to a lot of cardiovascular issues such as heart attacks and hypertension. A study published in the International Journal of Obesity provided information about intermittent fasting being a very crucial aspect of helping lose weight. In fact, helping with obesity that they showed that a lot of the participants that implemented intermittent fasting, that they were able to reduce the weight and also help with their obesity problems. Another contributing factor when it comes to cardiovascular issue is looking at insulin resistance and diabetes. Why this becomes a problem? Because if diabetes persists and prolongs, what happens is that there could be kidney failure. And that could be a real big problem with our cardiovascular system, the kidneys, help regulate our blood pressure and also if there is any kidney failure there's so many complications with our circulatory system and also really complication with the heart so we definitely cannot just oversee this and just only look at other aspects when it comes to cardiovascular but really look at when it comes to diabetes and insulin resistance so in the journal of nutrition and diabetes they found that by implementing intermittent fasting they found that they were able to not only reduce the weight, but also help with insulin resistance. By reducing this, this can help benefit in cardiovascular. So they found a lot of different aspects that can help with the preventative factor of leading to heart attacks. An additional study about diabetes is they found with these types of participants, not only did it help with insulin sensitivity, but also changing blood sugar levels, decreasing it, also decreasing blood pressure as well as helping with the indication of the aspect of reversing diabetes. A study that was conducted by scientists in Turkey took a group of people to look to see if fasting could be an aspect to help reduce high blood pressure. And what they found is that the people that would skip their meals in the morning were able not only to be able to reduce their blood pressure, but also their excretion of sodium levels decreased. Now, why is that important? Why is decrease of sodium levels in your urine is important? Well, people who have a tendency to have high blood pressure will have usually elevated electrolytes in their system. And what this does, if you think about osmosis, 
is uh, physics. We're basically taking two different cups, putting a you know pipe in them between, and if you filled up one with mostly salt water, another one that was just pretty much plain water, they balance each other out. This is how our blood pressure, when it comes to our our vessels, our blood vessels, as well as the lymphatic system, exchanging you know electrolytes and also liquids. And somebody who's more dehydrated, this is where uh, a lot of times that people withhold on weight as well when it comes to edema. If there's high levels of sodium in your diet and you tend to be electrolyte, you know, excess, then, you know, edema could be a problem along with having high blood pressure. So by, you know, skipping the meals, this helped the aspect of lowering the blood pressure, but also it decreased the sodium excretion in their urine. A review paper that was done in Umeå University, hopefully I'm pronouncing that, it's because they were from, it's in Sweden, so Umeå University, they found that through intermittent fasting, not only did it help lower the blood pressure, but it also was helpful for preventative cardiovascular issues to prevent any heart attacks or any other cardiovascular issues such as endothelial dysfunction or issues with artery dilation, all looking at those, those aspects, they found that this, such as intermittent fasting, can help contribute to that. But along with that, what they found is they were able to even discontinue the medications for hypertension. So really looking at this aspect, they even found not only that they could discontinue the medications, but also help with preventing any further cardiovascular issues further down the road. Intermittent fasting holds potential of helping with cardiovascular issues, whether it might be high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or diabetes that could contribute to the cardiovascular system. These are aspects that we need to keep in mind because the research out there, and it's something that needs to be implemented in our treatment, especially for all doctors out there. And I know they're starting to get more and more on board. I certainly do implement it a lot with my cardiovascular patients when it comes to things such as high blood pressure, or if they deal with any other kind of cardiovascular issues, such as endothelial dysfunction or artery dilation issues. These are things to look at using intermittent fasting as part of their treatment protocol. So I'm curious about you guys. Are you using fasting to help with lower your blood pressure? Have you found benefit with it? Have you found benefit with any other kind of cardiovascular issues that you might be dealing with? Do you feel like it's helped you prevent from getting heart attack? Let me know in the comment section below, and I'm sure everybody in the community would love to hear about that. As always, give us a big thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. Why haven't you subscribed? Just go ahead and do it. And then, of course, if you want to know more information about diabetes and fasting, I'll leave a link right here. And if you want to know about more about autophagy and fasting, I'll leave a playlist over here. So until next time, this is Dr. Grant signing out. Thanks. Bye.